What's up guys, Inigami here, and let's go through the adventure mode, White Beard, on the Japanese version of One Piece Trailer Cruise. We are in the New World tier, remember there are three tiers that you could be in, the East Blue, the Grand Line, and the New World tier. You can tell based off of what color your Sunny is right here, and if you're in the Gold tier, everything is basically just gonna have more health and do more damage, but they all work the same way. Remember that if you hit any of these mini bosses on your way to Adventure Mode Whitebeard, then they will become despaired and they'll start with like 20% health, which makes the fight generally way, way, way easier. Uh, we will be going through a bunch of these with uh, just a team that I use to get me a lot of points. Like here's my Sengoku team with all the Fortnite characters that are boosted this time around. You can use any team you want. The idea is to give you guys uh, a good idea of how these fights work. But you really want to use any of these guys that are glowing because these glowing guys will get you more points. You can see down here that I get 1.61 times the number of points uh, I would get for running this island. Uh, a lot of these adventure mode islands are not difficult per se. But the trick is to use the characters they want you to use. The ones that are glowing yellow. So that way you can get as many points as you can. That So I get a 1.77 times boost. I do have the debuff right now that makes my powerhouse type weaker. So I have powerhouse attack down and cooldown reduction up. This Vista fight, Vista will have about 360,000 hit points. He will do 3,000 damage with his attack. Since I have cooldown reduction on my teams, we're just going to blow through all this. Don't have to worry about anything. Uh, all these Fortnite characters basically are not going to get used. Uh, we're basically not going to be using any specials here. Because all we're going to be doing is using double Sengoku specials to kill the Vista. Now if you, Vista does survive, you still have enough damage to just punch him until he dies. Uh, but Sengoku special, you can use regular Sengoku. Sai Sengoku work, works just fine. 6 plus Sengoku is just what I'm using. What Vista does, if you do have to fight him, is he will preemptively uh, blank your or reject your top and bottom row of orbs. So only your middle row characters will have your orbs. And he will rewind the specials of your captains and your bottom row for by one turn. So your captain specials get rewinded for one turn. Your bottom row gets rewinded for one turn. This stage right here is the most annoying because they will paralyze and blind you for two turns. So if you don't have a paralysis remover, then you could get in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, I can use these specials to heal. No, you don't heal. You do stuff. Uh, one of you guys is a blind remover and a healer. There we go. Look at that. Wow, amazing. Health cut and you heal also and lock orbs. Wunderbar. Let's just annoying more than anything else. It's not difficult to get past. So here I got both Goku specials ready. Just want to go to the boss fight. The orbs on our non... If you're using 6 plus Goku, your orbs on your non-captains don't matter because remember 6 plus Goku will give you matching orbs. Remember that these stages are only 5 stages long just like Colosseums are and if you are doing them before the final version that they're only 3 stages long on the mini bosses leading up to this. So here, Vista blanks your orbs on your top and bottom row. Rewind specials for your... Uh, actually, your bottom two row are the ones that have special rewinded. And double Sengoku specials will kill him even at full health. And at least bring him really low once you start doing more and more runs and his health gets higher and higher and higher. Below 20% health, he attacks for 2.5 times his attack up to about 9,000 damage for 4 turns and prevent damage for 4 turns. So don't get him below 20%. If your Sengokus can't kill him and you can't burst him and just attack him a few times while he's only attacking for 3,000 and then burst him. So let's go into Jozu. Jozu is a very, very high health. I have high defense. So we're going to be using Legend Sanji Captain. Just use a Legend Sanji Friend Captain if you like and then you can use any team at all with a Le Legend Sanji Friend Captain. You can also use Hancock Legend Friend Captain, this Hancock, because she deals fixed damage. And then the rest of your team doesn't matter. I'm just using these characters because I'm not using on any other team. And they'll get me that extra point. So you'll see here I only have 1.46 times extra points. So whenever you don't have a team of full points, it does 
lower it by a lot. This versus Jozu. Update, there we go. Yeah, Alkiji Legend also works. There are a lot. Anybody who deals fixed damage is all you need. He only has 5,000 hit points. So, a g any fixed damage dealer will pretty much kill him. Unless you are using a 5,000 damage cut. Because a 5,000 damage cut will not quite kill him once you get him to a higher health. I'll just use that to lower my cooldowns. Thank you very much. And with our cooldown so low, we can go as fast as we can clear these stages. Jozu will have five units around him that have six hit points and a very high defense also. So an AoE fixed damage dealer is what we want. He will prevent debuffs for five turns and boost his defense by a thousand times for five turns. So really, really, like, it's really, really simple. All you do is use fixed damage. Any fixed damage is good to go. Sure, we'll use Monster Chopper just to kill him, because why not? I just want to use Monster Chopper Special. Fixed damage. There's no other strategy to it. This is probably the easiest fight for, uh, for you to make any teams on. So if you are going through Adventure Mode and you're trying to decide which mini-boss you should fight, you can basically always leave Jozu until the final version, because Jozu going from 5,000 health to 1,000 health doesn't really change anything at all for his fight, and it doesn't change the health of his fodder units. So hey, Jozu's at 5,000 whole hit points, and then fixed damage, and he's dead. Whew, man, that's uh, pretty, pretty difficult. Next one we have is Ace. Can we... Ace properly. Oh, I can't spell Ace. Ace, there we go. Ace is a Dex character. He has 1.1 million hit points. He attacks every turn for 8,400. He will boost his attack and lower your chain by half. Let's get into Ace, please. Thank you for the points. And those extra points are what we really, really want to make your teams for our glowy characters. Uh, also, a tip that I use is that I set my teams up in order so I remember which team is. So I set this as my first team versus the Vista, then this one versus Jozu, then this one versus Ace. So that way when I'm fighting this, I can just go left to right in order to make my adventure mode just a little bit more efficient. So we're going to be using a slasher team. If you have adventure mode Mihawk fully limit broken, then he's the best captain here. But I don't, so I'm just going to be using Dofi Captain. The reason I'm using Inu Arashi and stuff is just because they will... Uh, they get Limit Break. So if you don't have characters that glow yellow, I highly recommend using characters that have Limit Breaks available to them. Because characters with Limit Breaks available will get EXP by, by being used on these islands. So it'll save you from using those proficiency potions. So this Slasher team... Uh, the Coated Sunny is just in case our health gets too low, because what Ace is, will do is whenever he dies, he's going to do about 7,000 damage to you, which is a big trick to Ace. If you, uh, The only reason I'm actually ever going to possibly die is because I have Inu Arashi, and Inu Arashi special will cut my health, and so I'm actually going to put myself in danger of dying just to make my damage a little bit better. So if you don't want to possibly die, all you have to do is not use Inu Arashi on your team. Just use a tight booster, because I don't have any tight boosters in here. Tight booster. Mihawk has an orb booster, and it's super, super easy. One million health and nothing really that hurts you. Your adventure mode Mihawk friend captain, or your adventure mode Mihawk captain, will counter that chain being reduced by half. So you don't have to worry about that. You don't need Dofi specials, because adventure mode Mihawk will be your orb booster. And this stage 1 through 4 doesn't have anything special or dangerous about it. Take out these lovely ladies. We do want to start looking for some strength orbs because that will help out a lot. So especially at this stage I'm going to start looking for strength orbs while we're fighting through these Amazon ladies. I don't want to leave any... never leave Amazons below half health. If you leave an Amazon below half health, 
they'll probably do terrible, terrible things to you, not the kind of things you want a nice, strong woman to do. Red orbs? Ooh, that's two more red orbs. That actually looks good. I'm just going to go forward now. So Ace, once again, 1.1 million hit points, 8,400 attack. On his first attack, he will give you badly matching orbs and lock your orbs for a turn. And whenever he dies, he's going to do damage back. And I did get Ace below 20% health. And Ace is one of the ones, Ace is one of the more difficult ones. So if you're having a hard time, I would definitely say consider Ace as one of your ones that you aim for as a mini boss. Because if you have trouble with one of these stages, it's probably going to be Ace. If he's at 20% health, really, really easy to kill him. Actually, it looks like he's only at 10% health. I think, it, I think they're actually only at 10% health. And so that 100,000 hit points versus a million hit points is the difference whenever you're going through the island and you hit them as a mini-boss. So Ace, primo target for targeting as a mini-boss. And then Marco. If, you, if any two are the most difficult, I would say Ace and Vista are the most difficult just because they have the most health, with Ace definitely being one of the more difficult fights. Then the last mini-boss we have is Marco. Marco is Sai. He has 300,000 hit points. We're going to be using a double Fujitora team. I like to use all my health cutting characters on this team, like Fujitora, Bellamy, Pika, because you cannot use any health cutters against Whitebeard. If you use a health cutter against Whitebeard, he'll blow away your character. So don't use health cuts against Whitebeard. Use health cuts against any of the other mini bosses you can. And of course, if you don't have Fujitora, you can just use any other driven captain here. The rest of this team is free to play. Just picking glowing yellow characters. Glow yellow characters is all we really care about. Bum 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 bum. Just stalling for specials. I just want specials. Our orbs aren't gonna matter. And really nice is the Neo Akainu, because Neo Akainu is going to give you fully matching orbs and boost your affinity. Well not fully, but fully purple matching orbs and boost your affinity, but since Marco is yellow. It is going to matter a lot on this fight. So our orbs not on the port characters aren't going to matter until we get there. And actually don't even need Fujitora specials. I'm just going to go forward here. I shouldn't be stalling. Fujitora specials, not necessary at all for me. Oh no, not a giant. Not my 40,000 hit points. Ah, uh, that's so scary. Come on, baby. I've got white beards to kill, please. And I got one more stage after this. Uh, you poison, don't you? I don't think these guys are high defense. You, you do poison. I don't think these guys are high defense, so. Oh, that works. Thanks, Caesar. All right, and Marco. Marco has no preemptive attack. Every turn he'll heal back to full health, so all you want to do is make sure you kill him right away. Look at all that damage. That's just 100,000 damage special right there. It's already put him down so low. And then I attack with the affinity boost and orb boost, and he's dead. Pretty easy. Okay, white beard time. Oh, I didn't even change that to... Uh... Pretend I changed that to Marco. Versus white beard. So after you beat all four mini bosses, you can now take on Whitebeard. If you have a Judge team, specifically if you're using Judge, that's going to be the best because Judge will remove uh, Bind, which you will get Binded on his Stage 4. He has a Stage 4 vert fight and then a Stage 5 fight. And remember, if you want to know how much health Whitebeard has, you can always check his health before you get into these islands. Uh, on the very main stage here. So I'm going to using a Legend Rob Lucci team because Rob Lucci is boosted. Bunch of powerhouse characters. Even though my powerhouse attack is lowered, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about that at all. Boom, boom, boom. Double Rob Lucci team. Yes, please. Using the new Zunisha ship because Zunisha ship is super good. Oh my god, it's super good. So on stage four, the mini boss Whitebeard is going to preemptively 
silence both of your captains for three turns. Oh my gosh, look, we're guaranteed fully matching orbs on turn one thanks to Zunisha ship and Sanji. And the reason we're using Sanji down here is that Sanji will get rid of the uh, the bind and also set our chain to 2.5. You can also use Wild Luffy, who will get rid of your... A Wild Luffy gets rid of your... I don't know. That's annoying. Gotta leave one of these guys alive. Gets rid of your... Silence and Bind. So these Lapins actually only remove your healing for four turns. Which is not as bad as they could be. If you know these Lapins, you know they are notoriously bad for removing your healing basically forever. But these are only four turn healing removals. Which are, on, which are not too bad in the grand scheme of things. I still want to wait out a little bit. Take a hit from this guy because it's better taking a hit later on. And at least my heal return will get through. If you find yourself short on health, then just use the Rocket Man ship if you are using a powerhouse ship team like I am. Now I'll help you with your health. Hey, buddy. I want to get the heal return off of here. Kill this guy. This guy upon death will do some stuff. Makes perfect hard to hit, which is why we're using the Zunis ship. Perfect hard to hit for 99 turns. Which is why we're using Zunisha in the first place. Alright, White Beard Mini Boss silences both of my captains, which is Rob Lucci. They're not the most important specials in the world. I am going to take a hit from this White Beard. So I can use my specials later on after he, Whitebeard gets rid of his stuff. And now we'll move forward. If you want to, with Rob Lucci, you can use a Rob Lucci special on the previous stage. And then that way, whenever you attack on this stage, you would still have your matching orbs. That way you can bring matching orbs into the boss stage with you. If that's what you're into. But that's fine. Okay, Boss Whitebeard has 1.55 million hit points the first time you fight him. He attacks for 10,000 damage the first time you fight him. He's going to bind our friend Captain. We're going to use Sanji to get rid of that and set our chain to 2.5. Uh, we will use our special this turn to do some serious damage to a dude. And I'll just show you passing the turn. Assuming you don't have the Zunisha ships that way, you still you have perfect hard to hit and you can't get through that three hit perfect barrier. Uh, whenever Whitebeard's on Whitebeard's first attack, he's gonna attack for twenty thousand damage. So I'll go ahead and hody that so you can see that damage. And he doesn't do anything bad until actually he doesn't do anything based off his health at all. So you don't have to worry about his health. Just his first attack will be for twenty thousand damage. So you can use a damage reducer if you need to. And uh, we'll just burst him now. Fujitora for some good damage. My attack is halved, but that's okay. Because we are manly men who kill white beards. That's the entire fight, guys. Uh, punch Whitebeard a few turns if you uh, if you can't burst him down a single turn just punch 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 use a damage reducer for that first attack and then after that he attacks for whatever his health uh, whatever that attack will be 10,000 that will increase every single time you fight him and his health increases just like everyone else this is the limit break experience which is what I uh, want you guys to use or what I recommend you using so that we get extra uh, limit break stuff off of a character and whenever I show you the, you can see, let me show you how to check a character's health and attack. So on this screen, if you click on this, before you go in, you can see how much health and attack he has. So you can see that right now on my third run, he has 1.8 million health and just under 11,000 attack. And everyone else will also go up. Everyone's health will go up a little. Jozu's health, Vista's health, Ace's health, Marco's health. 
And if you do try to go for anyone just to make your runs either, go to easier, go against ace. These are rewards you can get. And remember that Whitebeard is not great until you actually max out his limit break. So let's go over the Whitebeard with his limit break. Here we go. So Whitebeard, fully limit broken, has five sockets. He has defense from Psy characters, so he reduces damage taken from Psy characters and also has enrage, so has additional attack whenever you take damage. His captain ability boosts the attack of all characters based on how much health you have, and boosts your health by I mean, yeah, boosts the attack of all characters based on how much health you have, and boosts your health by 1.2 times. If you're at low health, that attack boost goes up to yeah, the attack boost goes up to two point two five times, and if you're at full health, it's only a one times attack boost, so it's uh, not a very great attack boost. Oh wait, no, that's before limit break. After limit break, I think it goes up to three something. Yeah, three point two five times at at one health and. 1.375 times at full health, so up to 3.25 times. That's, I'm looking at the one before Limit Break. His special ability changes his own orb into Int, deals 100 times his attack and typeless damage to all enemies, so that's a pretty large damage nuke right there. That special will ignore barriers and uh, debuffs, so they have percent debuff protection, or if they have a good hit barrier or combo hit barrier, this attack will go through those. If enemies have debuff protection or delay protection, he will boost your orbs by two times for one turn. And if the air enemy has a barrier like a perfect hit barrier, a great hit barrier, or a combo hit barrier, then he will boost his own attack by 2.25 times for one turn. So not as good as Adventure Mode Mihawk. I would say he's actually like... He's worse than Adventure Mode Mihawk. Adventure Mode Mihawk is blow it out of the water, super amazing for slashers. Whitebeard is just... Pretty good. That uh, special that goes through barriers is definitely going to be very, very useful. And another two times orb booster can never hurt. Powerhouse Striker, Int Character, Ivan Zinigami, good luck. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all stay beautiful.